Hi guys, it's hyperbolas we are drawing today, or hyperbolic equations. We're going to use a table of values, as you can see back here, and there is a standard formula for hyperbolas. It looks kind of like this. It's like y equals k over x, sometimes referred to as y times x equals k. What's that k? It's a constant. It could be any number. And in this particular example, it happens to be a 1. So y equals 1 on x. That's what we're about to draw. Now, the elements of a hyperbola or hyperbolic equation are that it is not a smooth continuous curve. It is broken up into two parts. They are separated. They are of the same shape and size, and they generally don't touch the axes, the y-axis or the x-axis, but they do approach them. So let's get started on this first one. y equals 1 over x. We're going to substitute numbers in there and see what we come up with. So the first value is negative 3. We're going to substitute it in there and then find that y value. So for negative 3, well, negative 1, one positive 1 on, there's our negative 3, is simply negative a third, isn't it? So let's put that in, negative 1 third. Let's go to the next one. Well, that's going to be 1 over negative 2, isn't it? So let's write that down. 1 over 2 negative. The next one is going to be negative 1. So that's going to be 1 over negative 1. So that simply is a negative into a positive. Negative 1, isn't it? So let's just put that negative 1. This next one's very interesting. It's 0. What happens when we put a 0 on the denominator down the bottom there? Well, 1 over 0 is indeterminable. You can't actually work it out. So in mathematics, you can't divide that. Your calculator would probably say you've got an error. So that means 1 divided by 0 is not possible, so we cross that out. So there is no value there. Let's go to the next one. I've got a half here. Let's ha see how we do this. What's 1 divided by a half? Let me write that down. 1 over 1 half. Well, it's actually the reciprocal of that. That means turn it upside down. And the answer is actually 2. But you can check that in your calculator. Next one is 1. 1 over 1 is simply 1. We all know that. We've got a 2. 1 over 2 is a half. And we have 1 third. Okay, there's our points. All we've got to do is plot them up. So our first one is negative 3 with negative 1 third. So let's go to negative 3 on the x-axis. Negative 3 comes along here, and that's going to give us a value of negative 1 third, which is about somewhere along there. So there's our first point there. The next point is negative 2, negative 1 half. So let's go to negative 2 and negative 1 half. That's about there. Let's go to negative 1, negative 1, both negative 1. So there we are, negative 1, negative 1. Perfect, right there. Cuts through there. Okay, let's go to 0. Can we have 0? Well, there is nothing for 0, which is the y-axis. Why is that? Because that y-axis is an asymptote. We can't actually get a value there, meaning the curve approaches it, but never actually touches it. So let's jump over to the other side of the axis, and that's at the point 1 half. Let's see what we get for 1 half. That's 2. So 1 half is about there, and it goes up to the point of 2. So let's go up to 2. So that'll be about there. So a half, two, let's have a look at that. Yes, that looks fine. We've got one, one. One, one, that will be approximately there. Two, a half, two, a half. There, and we have three, one third. Three, one third, right there. So there's our curve. It's kind of going across there. And this is going kind of across there. Now, you're going to notice in a moment that they are not continuous, they're going to go like this, approach each axis, but no, never ever actually touch. And we're also going to notice that the same shape and size in the two quadrants. So let's kind of join those dots up. I'm going to put these values, these guys over here, these pre-drawn ones. So let's put this across there. So that kind of looks like that. There's our first axis right there, going like a curve. Okay, there's our first one. Let's put the other one up here. Let's see how that fits in here. Kind of fits in there. There we go. It's kind of got that shape. So there we go. We've got this one with that one. And as you can see, they are both symmetrical and of the same shape and size. So that's the graph of y equals 1 on x.